Hey all, in this video is the one-off IDN crate in conjunction with Nerdblock, so let's get on the way and see what's inside. So, powered by Nerdblock. Let's grab a Deadpool t-shirt first as it's a revealed item. Which that's quite a neat shirt. The next item is you wanted to spice up your life, so subscribe today and get 20% off your first arcade block with the code arcade20. I'm already subscribed, go ahead and use it if you want to. And then the other new blocks, which is the new block, arcade block, horror block, comic block, and cipher block. And then there's the new block juniors by the look in the bottom. And I'm not getting any either of the new block juniors or the horror block or the new newly announced shirt block which contains five shirts. The next item is folded in half. Okay, so it's an IGN bumper sticker. And then there's a Nemesis figure from Resident Evil for the 20 year anniversary and I'll just go grab one off oh, I'll just go grab one I already have so one I already have and I've already opened this one so just with a bazooka is the one I got here and just looking at the boxes they are Oop, there it is, the exact same, so that's from the arcade block, by the look, I'll just put that there. Next item is another Street Fighter V patch, which I already have one of them. Next item is a World of Warcraft Dragon's Blank Notebook with Pocket. So, I'll have to use that notebook. So blank is basically just, I'm presuming, clear pages, well, blank pages. And, yeah, it is blank. With pocket. Ah, on the back page, there's a pocket in there. Oh, oh. Just chucking everything away. And the next item is a Fallout 4 pop vinyl of T the T60 Power Armor. So that's a pretty neat pop vinyl figure. Um, and then IGN tote is it? Yep, just for your IGN symbol. Um, an IGN badge and pin in conjunction with nerve block and wax off design. Next item is a classic controller, USB controller for PC and Mac. So it will plug and place, USB enabled, and has a six foot USB cable on it. So you can play your games with the retro style. Which I'll be playing a few at some point with it. And then the next item is the arcade block cards. Which I already got a pack and I'll link in the description the video that it's from or you can just check out my, my other new block playlist and find it. Next item is a Duke's X Universe Children's Crusade number one comic so I haven't read that comic but usually they are alright but I have my queries on more game related ones. Then the next item is a Legend of Zelda print. So that is Link on Eponia in front of the moon. Then a uh, Matt Sylvia at McBiggity. So if I remember right, we've seen advertisement through. It's a main employee of IGN or through their video series that 
they've produced and signed them themselves. So the cards about what the items were in it. So the Deadpool shirt, the Funko Pop vinyl figure, Warcraft or Fallout 4, the IGN insignia lapel pin, Duet Sex, number one comic, the Street Fighter um, uh, bleh, patch, the cards and the figure, so in the arcade block, and then the tote bag, the print journal, so you could have got any of, so Fallout, uh, what is it, Diablo, Gears of War, um, World of Warcraft, and Uncharted, that's it there. Exclusive IGN autograph, the IGN bumper sticker, and the game controller. So, over all in all, it's a reasonable box, and as, as it shows, those have been in previous boxes. So, thanks for watching, please like, subscribe, and share, and don't forget to check out my other videos.